Hey guys, welcome to my sub list. Today I'm so excited to be partnering with Baby Lock Sewing Machines and bringing you another altering tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add pockets to a dress. And really you could add it to a dress or um, some like a jumpsuit or something like that. I'll show you how to add it in to the side seams. So I'm super excited about this tutorial and really excited to add some pockets to my dress. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Baby Lock Brilliant, which is one of the machines in the Baby Lock Genuine Collection. It is the intermediate machine. It is becoming my favorite machine. I am constantly using it for all my projects. I've probably sewn with it every day. Yeah, probably every day for the past two and a half months and I am loving it. It's awesome, it's a great machine. So I'll leave links down below for the sewing machine. Um, other supplies that you're going to need are first, the outfit or dress that you want to add pockets to. This is the dress that I'm gonna be using. It's a really like silky, lightweight knit and I'm obsessed with this dress in the summertime. It's so nice. It almost feels like it's made out of like a thin swimsuit fabric. Um, so a lot of spandex is in it, but I just wish it had pockets. Um, so I'm gonna add some pockets to it today. Super excited about that. You're gonna be needing some fabric that matches your dress or will go somewhat with your dress. Obviously the pockets won't be seen from the outside. So really if you wanna go super crazy, you could do that. I'm gonna go kind of basic today and just do this knit fabric. Again, it's knit because the dress is knit. So I say, depending on what um, fabric your dress is, kind of go to something similar as it. I was thinking about going something more silky, but I just think this will be nice and warm on the inside and hold up really well with all the things I like to put in my pockets. So one other thing that you need to have, I got another dress that I liked the shape and style of the pockets. You can draw your own out without having like a reference, but I just liked having a reference. I also like knowing um, this dress I really like where the pockets are placed as well so if you like a dress that you already have that has pockets and you like the placement of the pockets that's gonna be really helpful in making our own pockets and placing them in this next dress so if you have one great if you don't I'll show you um, obviously that's the shape you're gonna need so if you could draw something out like that and cut it out of fabric then you should be good so let's get started so for our first step, we're going to cut out our pocket pieces. And like I said before, I'm just using a dress that I like the size of the pockets. Uh, if you don't have one or you don't have any dresses with pockets, I'm really sad for you, but we're gonna change that today. So we're gonna draw out the shape. And really what you wanna do is make sure if you don't have a pocket that you're tracing it out of, you wanna make sure your hand is obviously gonna fit in it or like somewhat fit in it. Um, maybe like put your phone here, make sure your phone fits in it is a good idea. But really you just wanna make sure it's wide enough that your phone, <laughs> that your phone, that your hand would fit in it. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm also then gonna take, um, this is a marking tool, and I really love these clover marking tools, and I'm just gonna trace around, and I'm going about a quarter of an inch out so that I can um, have that seam allowance. Let's see if I can do this. The knit wants to bunch up on me. Okay, so I'm just, yeah, tracing around it. There we go. And marking exactly how, let's see here, how we're gonna cut this. Okay, that does not wanna mark. Here we go. Straight across, come on. <laughs> okay, so there we have that part marked. So I can take that away and I'm gonna come and draw that straight line. If you want to, you can grab a ruler and you're just gonna do that straight edge down. Oh, so much easier with that. And let me extend that a little bit. There we go. So we're just making it a little bit bigger so that way we have something to sew around. So if you've never sewn before, it's to create that seam because that you can't put your hand in, but that will create that seam for us. So now I'm gonna cut four of these out. 
Now to figure out the placement of the pocket, like I suggested earlier, um, I'm just gonna be using this dress that I already know I like the placement. But if you don't have a dress that already has pockets or you don't have one that you like the placement of, I suggest trying this, um, the dress that we're putting pockets in, try that dress on, and then we're gonna take some pins and you can pin while you have it on, pin where you want that pocket to be. Um, you could pin probably the top and the bottom is where you want that to pin. So also measure um, the distance you want it. But let me show you how I'm gonna do it with this dress. So here I have my dress that needs pockets laying on my table. And then I'm gonna put the dress that already has pockets on the table. And I'm gonna line up the arm seams up here. So that way I know I'm gonna get this length right. Even though they're different lengths, I'm gonna make sure I get the length right. So once I have the arm seam and then this side seam, I wanna lay it as flat as possible, just so I know I get it right. Yep, there we go. Oops, scoot it down just a little bit. And honestly, with pockets, I feel like it's okay if it's not perfect. Once I get that side seam lined up, I'm then gonna put a pin right at the top of where I want that pocket to be. Just like if you were wearing this dress, um, you would put a pin or a safety pin would probably be a little more safe um, where you want it. And then I'm gonna lay it flat again and I'm gonna find where the bottom should be. And I'm gonna pin that as well. And then I can move that dress away, the dress that has the pocket. Then I'm going to take my seam ripper and I'm going to take out this stitching right here that was already done. One thing with getting that seam unpicked, I went a little bit past um, where my pins are for the pocket. And that's just going to make this next step a little bit easier, just a little bit. So now we can take those pins out, I'll set them off to the side, and then I'm gonna open up my dress and actually turn it right sides out. So here I have the hole. I've just pretty much made a hole in the dress and we're gonna open it up. And then we're gonna grab two of our pocket pieces. So with two pocket pieces, I'm gonna take one and we're gonna put them right sides together with the dress. And you are gonna to need to know where the top of the dress is and where the bottom of the dress is. So that way you're making sure that the pocket is put in correctly. Cause we don't want things to fall out of our pocket once we have it in. So here is my bottom of my dress and here's the top of my dress. And here's our nice little hole. So I'm gonna take one of my pocket pieces right sides together and you can't really tell what the right side is on this one, but just make sure you are doing right sides together. I'm gonna lay it out a little flatter. There we go. Okay, and we're just gonna take this top layer and pin it to the right side of one of our pocket pieces. And I'm just lining up that opening, should be pretty similar, might be a little bit bigger, especially because we went about a quarter to half an inch bigger than our um, pins were placed, but I'm gonna place that right in the middle and I'm gonna pin that in place. Again, I can't say it enough. Make sure that it is right sides together and then line up your edges and pin those in place. Okay, so I have those two layers pinned in place and then I still have this other layer so now, if you wanna flip it over, I'm gonna take that layer and do the same exact thing. Oh, I wanna make sure this is the bottom, this is the top, right sides together, and just these two layers I'm gonna to pin together. So I'm not pinning it closed just yet. I'm just pinning pocket piece to um, the dress piece. And this is technically the, the back of the dress and then this is the front of the dress. So now once I have it pinned, I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and I'll show you how we're gonna stitch those together. 
to stitch these together, I'm not going to use just a normal straight stitch, especially because I am using a knit dress and knit fabric. I want to make sure that the stretches are going, the stitches are going to stretch. That's why I get confused. The st stitches will stretch when the dress <laughs> stretches. Wow, this is a tongue twister for me. So I'm going to make sure that my machine is on a stretch stitch which is either a zigzag stitch, so that would be number five on the Baby Lock Brilliant, or an actual um, stretch stitch is a number eight. I just find that word, that sentence, hard to say, I guess. But the number eight is gonna be the stretch stitch. Um, I like the look of just a regular zigzag stitch, so I'm gonna do that instead. But especially if you're just working on a sewing machine, make sure that you're using, um, a stitch that will stretch with your fabric, especially if it's a knit. Um, and overall, it's just gonna hold up better in the long run. So even if your fabric isn't a knit, um, you could still use a zigzag stitch and that would be great. So now we're gonna take one layer, so that has two pieces, and we're gonna take this other one out of the way. But we're gonna take this first one, make sure it's lined up at the bottom of the pocket and I'm gonna stitch that down. And we're just gonna, this is just straight across what we just pinned. So before I start stitching, I wanna make sure any extra fabric's out of the way and continue making sure during the whole sewing process. Um, and then I can start sewing. I'm gonna do a back stitch as well and then continue sewing down that side. And this is about at a quarter of an inch. It's kind of pulling away here. So let's realign, take that out. Okay, and then we'll back stitch again and cut our threads. And then I'm gonna do that same exact thing to the other side. So I'm going to line that up and stitch. So here is what our pocket pieces and our dress looks like after we have that sewn. Again, we still have that hole in our dress right now. But now we're gonna take it and turn it wrong sides out one more time. And I'm gonna pull those pocket pieces through. There we go. And I'm gonna lay that out flat on my table. And I'm gonna actually start matching up the um, pocket pieces so that they're laying on top of each other and they should be right sides together now. So, make sure that's lined up correctly. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pin it in place. So right here, I still have a little bit of an opening. So I'm gonna take my pin and pin it right there. And then I'll just pin all the way around that pocket. So I'm also going to take that and pin that as well. And now I'm going to head back over to my sewing machine. Now we're going to sew our pocket and our dress closed. So right here you can see that's where I stopped on picking my threads. I'm going to start a little bit higher up. That way it um, finishes this off and so those threads don't keep unraveling and then the whole side seam unravels as well because that would be really bad. Um, so I'm going to start a little higher up and I'm still doing the zigzag stitch and I'll start stitching and then I am going to back stitch, just really reinforce those stitches. And I'm going to come right to the top of the pocket. So once I get to the top, right here, I have my needle down still, put my presser foot up and turn the fabric. So now I can go around the pocket. And I'll put my presser foot down and continue stitching. 
with that zigzag all the way around the pocket. Now, once we get to the bottom of the pocket, we're gonna do the same thing. So now I'm back into the seam of the dress. So I'll turn with my needle down. I have now turned it and put my presser foot back down and I'll stitch right down to where the serger stitching that I was unpicking ends and back stitch to finish that off and then cut my threads. So now I can go and trim off these extra threads that were kind of dangling around in these threads right here. But now I have that pocket in place. Once that is all sewn, like I said, I'm just gonna trim any extra threads and then I'm just gonna check it, make sure it looks good on the right side. And it should make sure the pocket actually stays in there. It should just line up just like that. Well, you can see a little bit of my white thread, so I might go back and do some blue thread <laughs> instead. But it should just line up just like that, so that way when you're wearing it, it will lay perfectly. And you can barely tell that you even put that pocket in there. But now you have an awesome little pocket. So now I'm gonna go to the other side of my dress and do the exact same thing to insert my pocket. Once you are done with that other side, inserting that pocket, you are all done inserting pockets into your dress. If you need to, and if your fabric allows it, you can do a light pressing um, to help turn that pocket inwards. Mine, because it's this really lightweight, um, more swimsuit-like fabric, if I put any type of heat on it, it's gonna melt my fabric. So I'm not gonna do that. If I do have an issue, I'm just gonna press it with my fingers really nicely, and that should finish it off really good. But if you are using a woven fabric, something like cotton or linen, you definitely can press it and finish that off really nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below and I'll try and answer all of them. Also make sure to turn on that notification button so that you know when I am posting new content, it will notify you and you can check out my latest tutorials. If you wanna see more of my sewing day to day and everyday tips and tricks, you can check out my Instagram at mysobliss. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.